everyone, so today I'm doing my first Halloween tutorial of the season, and this one is technically called the Firebird, that's what the costume's called, but I feel like this makeup would go with anything red and black themed. So you could do it for a devil or a vampire or anything where you're wearing red and black. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and show you guys how I did my makeup as well as my entire costume. As always, the first step I'm doing is applying an eye primer. So this is Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and I'm just patting this on my lid all the way up to my brow. Then I'm going to take a small piece of scotch tape and apply that following the line of my lower lash line up towards my brow and my hairline. And this is just going to help give me a really sleek, sharp edge on the outer side of my crease. And then I'm going to take Flammable Paint by MAC and dab this onto the center of my lid. It's a really, really gorgeous red color that I love. After that, I'm going to go ahead and take my shadows. And the red eyeshadow I'm using is from a MAC Mineralized Trio called Danger Zone. And with a flat shader brush, this is a Lowell Cornell Maxine's Mop brush in 3 8 of an inch, I'm going to apply that red shadow over the flammable paint and then also on the middle section of my lower lash line. Then I'm just going to flip this brush over and apply a little bit of the black, actually I guess you could say a lot of it of the black, to the outer corner as well as the inner corner and then you kind of just play connect the dots and complete your crease. And you can see the tape isn't only good for helping you keep a really straight line, but it is also going to catch fallout if you're working with really dark pigments. So now I'm just taking a MAC 222 crease brush and I am blending out the black. Then I'm going to take a MAC eyeshadow and brulee and use this with a MAC 224 blending brush as my highlight. So I'm just going to blend this right under my brow. Then I'm going to take a MAC 219 pencil brush and with the black shadow just apply this along the outer and inner corners of my lower lash line. Then you can go ahead and peel off the tape and you'll see you have a really steep sharp line up at your crease and if it left a little bit of res residue on your face you can totally fix that up later. So now you just want to take any eyeliner of your choice. I'm using Stila Gel Eyeliner in black with a angle brush and I'm going to apply this to my upper lash line as well as my waterline. Curl your lashes and apply a coat of your favorite mascara. I'm using Benefit's They're Real in black, so I'm going to apply that on the upper lash line and then whatever is left over on my brush, I'm going to swipe onto my lower lashes. To add drama, contour your cheeks using a matte brown eyeshadow. I'm using Charcoal Brown by MAC with a contour brush, and I'm just going to follow the hollows of my cheeks. Basically, when you make a fishy face, the part of your cheeks that kind of go in, and this is just going to give your face that sunken in kind of creepy Halloween look. So I'm going to do that all the way up towards my temples, then just using an angled blush brush and MAC's Plum Foolery Blush. I'm going to apply that onto the apples of my cheeks and work it into the eyeshadow that we used to contour. Then line your lips with a bright red lip liner. I'm using Hot Red by NYX Cosmetics, so you just want to start on the outer corners. And then when I'm lining my lips, I also like to go ahead and completely fill in my lips because this is going to make the color last a lot longer than if you just line it and then put a little bit of lipstick or gloss over top. Then you want to take a gloss in a deeper red color, this one is by NYX as well, and apply that onto the top. Now all that's left is to put on your mask and costume. So here's an overview of my entire costume. And like I mentioned, all of the items minus the shoes are from Party City. 
Here's a close up of my favorite part of the entire outfit and this is the Firebird collar and I love that it matches the mask that I'm wearing. I also have on the gloves as well as a ring. Then there's the sequin dress, spiderweb stockings, and Steve Madden heels.